Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samir Ajawi. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a congratulatory cable to the Prime Minister of Malaysia, Ismail Sabri Yaqub, on the occasion of his swearing in ceremony as Prime Minister for Malaysia. His Royal Highness highlighted the strong cooperation between the two nations and wished him success in his new role. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment, Sheikh Khaled bin Ali Al Khalifa, issued the executive regulations of the law on restorative justice for children and their protection from abuse. The regulation stipulates that achieving restorative justice for children, taking care of them and protecting them from ill treatment is a supreme goal and is in the best interest of children and the basic premise of their protection, as well as safeguarding their rights, taking into account that their personalities and their social and psychological conditions are complementary and that they do not in any way negatively affect the child's upbringing or his future. The regulation also took into account the obligation to notify the child's guardians for every decision taken against him and the method of grievance and none of the judicial officers or public authority officials may contact the accused child except with a written permission from the specialized prosecution. It also stipulates that the specialized prosecution may in all cases order the termination of the alternative measures to pretrial detention issued against the accused child before referring him to trial. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning Engineer Assam Khalaf issued a decision banning hunting, selling or trading of small fish and crustaceans. Inspectors under the resolution of the Department of Maritime Control have the right to seize actions that are in violation of the provisions of the resolution. And for this they have the right to enter ships, fisheries and places where fish and other aquatic organisms are displayed or sold. In addition to seizing the items obtained from these irregularities, anyone who violates the provisions of this decision shall be punished with the penalties stipulated in the law regulating fish exploitation and protection of marine wealth. The Information and E-Government Authority has invited all public and private sector employees to avail of the periodic medical checkup appointment through the National Portal Service Bahrain.ph. IGA Deputy Chief Executive of E-Transformation Dr. Zakaria Ahmed Al Khaja explained that the service provided by the Information and E Government Authority, in cooperation with the Ministry of Health, streamlines appointment bookings, supports entities which play a role in combating communicable diseases, and aids national efforts to protect the public health. Dr. Al Khaja added that this e service has now been further improved, allowing it to electronically identify which industries and professions meet the criteria of the recently implemented mandatory checkups and determines if additional tests are needed in line with the natures of these jobs. He also noted that the e service has expedited procedures, saving business owners and individuals time and effort by reducing the need for in person visits to the health centers. Government Hospitals Chief Executive Dr. Ahmed Al Ansari has stressed that the government hospitals will keep on working tirelessly in developing policies and strategies to advance the health sector with the effective contribution of all health workers in all fields and specializations. During a virtual meeting with the newly appointed heads of medical divisions, Al Ansari extended his congratulations and praised the efforts of all medical, nursing, technical and administrative personnel, each in their own capacity. He also hailed their dedication and service in serving the country by providing outstanding health care to all the patients at a time of exceptional pressure and unprecedented urgent care demand due to the coronavirus pandemic. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,139,666 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,082,616 had taken the second dose, and 248,489 had received the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 992 with 90 recoveries, 109 registered new cases and no deaths. 45 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 48 are contacts of active cases and 16 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus. <laughs> 